Hey everybody, Scott here, back with another video. Today we're looking at the G-Skill Rip Jaws MX7D Gaming Mouse. I wanted to uh, start this one off with the actual uh, box. It's got a nice presentation. You can pause the video to check out all this stuff on the uh, sides and back. I'll go over it in a little bit later on in the video. Um, usually these boxes just uh, slide out and you know pop out but this one has a nice presentation I thought uh, you guys might like to see it for the price uh, it's not bad this one cost me 40 bucks on Amazon I'll leave a link in the description so here it is the uh, the inside of the box have more uh, descriptive uh, stuff about the mouse and then the actual layout of everything that comes with it which I'll go over in a second okay so here's everything that came in the box besides the warranty card um, obviously get your mouse two weights they go on either side of the uh, of the mouths behind the the lights on the top there is a screwdriver to raise or lower the palm rest which is kind of cool and then because this is ambidextrous you also get the two side mounts here's your braided cable which is always nice and your gold color USB like I was saying here are the uh, side mounts for the ambidextrous they're, they're rubberized texture they've got some grip to it pretty nice as you can see the uh, texture there feels good in the hand as it were they just pop off pop right on No problems. And there you go, there's your left hand setup. You can obviously put this any way you want. You can have the uh, slider or the non slide on both sides, whatever you want to do. I like it like that, I think it looks better feels better so there's everything that comes in the box okay so here's where you can customize it you can have up to five profiles you can do everything from customize the buttons to the lighting DPI every uh, left-handed if you want every small thing you can think of for this mouse you can do um, it also has the Avago laser sensor the uh, tracking is up to 150 IPS and 30 G acceleration 512 uh, kilobyte onboard memory like I said up to five profiles it uses the PTFE glide pads which I didn't show off I should have uh, 20 million click life cycle and up to a thousand Hertz polling rate so I I only used one profile but it's awesome that you can take the profile with you it stays on the mouse so you're not stuck with having to use that profile on the same computer here's the lighting effects for everybody who's in the RGB it's pretty serious so there you go
So for 40 bucks, the functionality on this is uh, is pretty good. You've got your DPI button up on top, it's ambidextrous. You've got your removable side pieces. For 40 bucks, you can't go wrong. So I'm not the biggest PC gamer, but uh, I do like PC mice and this one, this one's pretty cool. It does more than, than I would need, but for someone who is on a budget and wants something decent, I would say to, to go with this. My gaming ex experience with it has been uh, really good. Again, I'm casual, so, you know, I'm not hardcore COD and Battlefield and everything else, but uh, for what I've done, it's been great, and for normal everyday tasks, it does a job better than I would uh, need, and for doing uh, YouTube videos, it works out great, so I would absolutely r recommend this. Um, I know that I didn't do a sound test on the last one, so... Here's a sound test on this one. So there it is, the G-Skill Ripjaws MX780 Gaming Mouse. For 40 bucks, you can't go wrong. I'll, le I'll leave a link in the uh, description down below. Hopefully you guys like the video, and if you buy it, hopefully you like the mouse. Have a good one.